Okay, here we go again. Okay, little Riata and Apache Way. Looks like we got concrete down here. There's the ground right here, so it's moving pretty fast. down the middle of the road because I want to see how deep it is. So far it's not over my ankles. At least I think I'm walking down the middle of the road. Get out to <laughs> try and get out to uh, yeah, I don't have Boulevard. See how bad it is. Looks like they're trying to cross. Hey! Okay? All right. Yeah, this is this is the worst, isn't it? Is that right there? Looks like somebody tried to get out this way and couldn't. The tires are covered in mud, so they tried. Should be a curb around here somewhere. This is Riata Ranch Boulevard. If anybody knows whose car that is, you may be able to organize a few people to try and push it onto higher ground. Otherwise, it's going to be a total loss. Looks like the field is not full of water yet. The parking lot next to the play field is full of water. Let's see how deep it is, shall we? Alright, so the curve's right there. Stepping off into the gutter, it's not even over my boots. So we out of ranch boulevard should be passable. At least right here to hire capacity cars. I can see the line in the middle of the road here. There's a lot of currents going on right here. I know there's two drains right here. People, please be careful. I don't know if you can 
see it. There's a whirlpool right here. There's somewhat of a rip tide going on over there. This looks like the lowest spot and the current is really kicking up my feet. Yeah, there's a nice big whirlpool right there. It's got a good six inch depression. It's draining and it's draining fast. Is whether it's faster than what's coming down. So this here is standing water. I can tell it's standing water because down here you can see where the running water hits the standing water. The wind is picking up. Here's where the, that puddle meets the running water. The running water on here is moving really fast. It's enough to make rapids. So I get down there and see that. So it looks like that was maybe a high point. Because now, I mean, moving water, but it's getting uh, above my ankle here. I'm still broadcasting, yeah. Okay. It is getting deeper. Not quite to the top of my boots yet. But I am in the middle of the road. Let's see how deep it is on the deep side of the road. Wow, that water has moved fast. Okay, not much difference. About three eighths of an inch above my boot on the deepest part of the road. So that's 18 inches. Once again, if anybody knows who that car belongs to, uh, if, they, if they have to put it into neutral, we can move it. If not, we may be out of luck. Unless they can come down here and change it. You guys haven't heard whose car it is, do you? I'm not gonna get close to that. So there's a good whirlpool right there. Draining really fast right there. We're probably right here. We're uh, probably a good four feet above the creek. How's it going? No, I guess not. <laughs> she needs bigger tires. <laughs> yeah. Well, until this creek overflows, this is always going to drain. You see that whirlpool right there? It's draining right into that. So. Oh, once that gets full, then we got a problem. Say what? Say hi, you're on Facebook. <laughs> She's not in there, is she? And she left it in park. Okay, well, not much I can do about it then.
Alright, so we got a whirlpool right there. Got a whirlpool right there. I don't see one over there, but there is one over there. So three whirlpools on the side of the uh, creek here. Let me see how deep it gets. It's up to my knees at this point. I'm walking over to the edge of the street. Okay, so here's the curb, and it's up to an uh, inch and a half above my kneecaps. Let's see what the creek looks like. Watch out for snakes. It's gonna be out. Alright, so here's the creek. Let's see if we can get a shot of how close it is to the bridge. Yeah, so can't tell from the roughage on the bridge, but it looks like it is close or hitting the bottom of the bridge. Let's see if I can tell anything from the other side. Still broadcasting? Yeah. Rain just picked up. <laughs> no. <laughs> nope, not mine. Uh, it's a lady. She apparently drove right into it. The lady apparently drove right into it. Oh, well, I don't know. What do you think? May Although uh, right here is actually the worst spot next to that right there. I haven't gone any further that way. It's even worse. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is up to my knees. Yeah. Center of the street over there is only up to the top of my boots. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, you too. All right, let's cross over and see if we can see the other side of this bridge. Get an idea on the outbound side what it looks like. Okay, so I'm right in the gutter next to this whirlpool where it is now two inches above my knee cap, top of my knee cap. Center of the road is at the bottom of my knee cap, so that's probably four inches difference right there. Yeah, the water is definitely, I don't know if you can see that, water is definitely touching the bridge. But it is moving. And like I said, the water on the street here is, is probably maybe even five feet higher than the creek here. So that's going to drain until the creek fills up. Once the creek fills up, then this won't drain anymore. As you heard, lady across the street says that down there it gets chest deep. All that's probably because of uh, the west side of Barker I'm glad I moved out of the way. Their wake just moved that car up against the against the uh, curb, or at least the back end of the car. I 
I really wish I could pull that out. Unfortunately, that's too deep, too deep for my Jeep to reach, and I don't have a tow cable long enough to reach it from the shallows. And since there's nobody in it, unfortunately, it's just going to have to be wasted. Get you another shot of this whirlpool here. I can. Yeah, that is moving fast. There's three of them, two more over there. Be real careful, that'll suck you in. Rip your leg off. Yeah. <laughs> There's uh, sprinkler canister caps all over the place. That's a pretty good shot of the uh, creek over there. About ready for some hot cocoa. Sorry guys, I'm not responding to the instant messages because my phone is in a waterproof bag hanging off my waders so I don't lose it or get it wet. So, conjecture I guess. Looks like uh, we're full over here. I'm going to go get a cruise down here. I forget the name of this street. but. Is a Carol Way, maybe? I don't remember. I'm on pavement here. Down here near the intersection. Looks like it gets a little deeper. So that means we're draining pretty well. things are doing what they're supposed to do. Water's congregating at the exits. I think I'll go home and watch Waters of Mars. The Doctor Who episode. Alright, we're starting to get into some standing water now. I'm just walking down the middle of the street, trying to gauge the depth. It's just over the toe of my boot so far. All right, so it's now up to my ankle bone. Windwalker and Indian paintbrush. Go to the middle of the intersection here, see how bad it is. Remember, guys, if you're driving out in this water, go to the middle of the intersection and turn as sharp as you can. That's where the highest point is going to be. Alright, so I'm turning on Windwalker now. Head back towards the house. It's a little bit deeper, about four inches below the top of my boot. About 14 inches. You can see that fire hydrant down there. Uh, it's got all three nipples exposed. So that's good. That means it's only under about a foot. And have water. Water coming up the driveway here. Seems to be another congregation point.
Not sure how many people are on the call. Two people, okay. Well, that's better than nothing. I'll post this to Facebook after we're done. So we're about up to my knee and we're approaching the intersection of Vaquero Way and Windwalker. It's up to the middle of my kneecap. And this right here, ladies and gentlemen, you can see this right here. This is a flotilla of ants. right there we got uh, I don't know if you can see that bubbling over there that is air coming out of the sewer we got it there we got some more over there looks like it may have just finished bubbling out and some more bubbling out is done over there this is looking back towards uh, the Outer Ranch Park on Vaquero Way and it is now getting up to my mid thighs I think that forerunner may be able to get out. I would not risk it though. <laughs> I have an audience. Houses have farther to go up the driveway. Some have already got it up to their driveway. I don't really see any that's reached up to the door yet. We'll see once we get back to the house. Things look like over there. 